What's up? Welcome. It is Vani Hudson, owner of securityplusPro.com and all the YouTube videos and channels and everything that you see there. In this video, this is actually the first part of a series. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up or the beginning stages of setting up your penetration testing lab, your security plus training platform. Okay, because I find a lot of times when you're studying for this test, you know, you can read a lot, you can go to blogs, you can go to Reddit, you can look at YouTube videos, but if you don't actually do it, you know, if you don't actually get your hands on the software and configure things, it's not really going to stick. So in this tutorial series, I'm going to show you one in this one, how to install, in my opinion, the best type two hypervisor there is. And that is VMware Workstation Pro. You can download the trial for free. And then in, in subsequent videos, I'm going to show you how you can get Kali Linux on your system. Kali Linux is the premier penetration testing toolbox. You know, when it comes to breaking into systems, and hacking into servers, you're gonna to wanna to use Kali Linux, okay? And then we're gonna also look at Windows 10 Enterprise. I'm gonna show you how you can download that operating system for free, legally, for free. It's gonna be awesome, okay? So right here, I'm gonna jump into VMware um, right now. We're gonna get VMware Workstation Pro. This is really important because we wanna have a lab where we can restore snapshots, where we can um, you know, pretty much work safely in a contained environment without the fear of damaging our machine because we can always roll back to a working snapshot. That's why I like VMware. Now, some people use others like Oracle's VirtualBox, Hyper-V, Microsoft's Hyper-V. I don't mess with those. I just use the best. You should use the best too because you're the best, right? <laughs> okay, so let's jump right into this. Um, I'm going to go ahead to VMware.com. Just point your browser there and we're going go to go down to downloads and we're going to go to VMware Workstation Pro. Now, when you get here, there's going to be a couple of options. You're going to see go to downloads and you're going to see download free trial. You don't want to actually go to downloads because if you do that, it's going to make you think, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing a good job. You know, I click go to downloads, everything's going to load fine. And you're going to say, oh yeah, download now. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I need to click. And then all of your funds going to be stymied by this login window, right? Who wants to freaking register? Don't do it that way. Okay. Let me show you a pro tip. If you want to get VMware Workstation Pro, download free trial Windows. And when you do this, it'll take you to this screen where you can download now. This is the real download now button that you want, okay? So you grab that and it's going to download. Now, I've already done this for you, so we don't even have to wait for this process to complete. Let me show you uh, what it looks like once you download. So let's go to minimize this guy. Here we have VMware Workstation full. This is the full edition. Now, I've already installed it, so the installation process is going to look a little different for you than it is for me. But let me show you the gist of what you're going to see. You're going to double click the installation file. Uh, user account control is going to pop up. Just go ahead and click yes to that and then go through the wizard. Now, first thing it's going to do is going to try to calculate space requirements. It's going to try to make sure that you have enough uh, storage space um, for VMware Workstation Pro. Um, it doesn't require a lot of space. I don't even know the details on how much space it needs. If, if you guys know, you can leave a comment. Um, but you have to wait for this process to complete. So once this finishes, it takes a few seconds, then we'll move on to the next screen. So of course, yours is going to say install. Mine says change because I already have it installed. And you want to install this enhanced keyboard driver. This gives you functionality that can make your life miserable if you don't have it. Okay, so. Um, sometimes when you're working in a VM, the keyboard doesn't work the right way. It doesn't work the way you would expect it to. Install this keyboard driver, make your life easy, and uh, you won't be cursing at your computer. All right? So on your version, you would just click install. On my version, I'm going to click cancel because I've already installed it. And I'm going to cancel that. Yes. I'm going to click finish. Let me show you what it looks like once it has been installed. So after we install VMware Workstation, you'll see something that looks like this. Create a new virtual machine, open a virtual machine, connect to a remote server. I never use this one. I sometimes use open a virtual machine, but I always create a new virtual machine. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can um, create a Kali Linux virtual machine. Okay, so I don't want to do too much in these videos. I want to keep them short and compact. Now, if you have any questions, don't forget to scroll down, leave a comment, and you know, let me know um, what your experience has been like with different hypervisors. Maybe you've used Oracle's VirtualBox. Maybe you use Hyper-V. You know, tell me what your favorite is. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, the YouTube channel, if you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're on my website, securityplusPro.com. Make sure you scroll down and you um, join our email list. Just pop in your email address there, and I'll continue to send you updates and cool content just like this directly to your inbox, okay? So I will see you in the next video where we will install Kali Linux. Peace out. <laughs> I don't
don't know why I said that. Just, you know what I mean. Peace out.